Okay, let's get going. Um, get the focus onto autofocus, which doesn't always work. Let's get this clipped on uh, and button up this last button before we inflame temperatures out there. Right, I'm ready to tell you about Fortis Boots Indonesia. G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. Uh, my name is Tech and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on here in Perth, Western Australia, the Wajak people. Now today I'm very excited because I'm bringing to you a new collaboration boot that I have with Fortis Boots Indonesia. And if you've followed my channel, you know that I've previously, previously done a collaboration boot with them uh, that I very much enjoyed. Now in this case, uh, it's not so much a collaboration as the fact that I, I sort of designed a boot that I would like to have. And I've given those designs to Sani at Fortis, so they're his boot. Um, so they're not a collaboration in the sense that it's going to be my logo on it. Uh, it's not a, a Fortis X bootlosophy model. Uh, it's something I've designed. Now I call this the Thorin boot. And the reason why I call it Thorin is uh, Lord of the Rings fans or Tolkien fans will know from The Hobbit, uh, Thorin Oakenshield, the king under the mountain. And the reason I called this boot after Thorin was because I wanted to create a really tough Chelsea work boot. Uh, I sketched a few designs and sent them to Sunny and we went back and forth. And one of the things I wanted to do, uh, as Chelsea boots are work boots in Australia, but one of the weaknesses, I suppose, is that uh, the goring panels on the sides are obviously very thin. They're not leather, they're made of elastic. And I, um, I wanted to model it after a work boot that I have from uh, the Ian Harold Boot Company, one of the oldest uh, boot companies in Australia. And they have this, this uh, what they call a gardener boot, which is actually a Chelsea boot, but with a leather protecting flap. And they have this little strap that goes around it. And so in effect, what happens is you protect your ankles, which uh, have that loose bit of goring uh, which can be quite thin compared to the leather that's on the uppers. So I, I tried to design a boot like that. And um, what I came up with was uh, created by Sunny, and this is the Thorin boot, which is now uh, open to take your orders. So I'll tell you a little bit about this boot, and uh, if you want to go straight away, uh, the details of how you make the order is down below uh, in the description box below. It is through Instagram, uh, and it is through uh, uh, Sunny's WhatsApp number. Now, let me just have a look. Um, his Instagram, uh, Instagram handle is at Fortis, F-O-R-T-I-S dot Boots IDN. And his WhatsApp number is plus 628-978-04593. However, I'll put the details down below. So, let me tell you a little bit about this boot. As I said, what I wanted was a, a really tough work boot. Uh, that I could use uh, in working around my house. I'm still doing sort of little reconstructions and uh, renovations around the house. And I didn't particularly want to buy a sort of steel toe boot because I don't really need it. Uh, and also useful for uh, working in the garden as well as casual wear, you know. Um, so I designed this boot, which is really a Chelsea boot. And Sunny created a new last for me. Um, I can't remember the name of the last, but if you ask him, he'll know. And you can see from the last, it's actually quite a round toe last, um, wide at the ball of the feet. And um, you can see from the shape there, that it's, it's quite a, a sort of wide based forefoot to give you that comfort when you're working and your toes need to splay and, and steady. Um, this version is in local tan pull-up leather. And uh, I'll tell you about the varieties of versions that you can have. But just running it through very quickly, it's a two row, double row, stitch down uh, construction method. So you can see the stitch down there, running through the front of the boot, 270 degrees. It has a leather heel counter. It has a celastic toe puff, but this toe cap is a real toe cap. It's a second piece of leather over the vamp. 
Uh, it's a hole cut boot, which means there is no seam in the uppers of the boot other than at the back here, down the middle. And that's covered by the single piece backstay with, if you can see, that um, iconic sort of uh, loop stitch that's done by Fortis. Has a leather uh, pull loop. Um, in this case, I asked him to make it quite small so that it didn't catch on the um, trouser cuff. So in this case, it's a little bit difficult to put the, put the fingers in, so you can ask him for a slightly bigger one, but I wanted one that uh, didn't flare out and sort of catch the pads. Here's the difference of a normal Chelsea boot. I asked him to cover the goring with leather. So um, what he did was he put a patch of leather there and then cut a slit up there so that you could actually expand the goring to get your foot in and it covers up. Now, um, one of the things he said to me was, this may not work in practical terms because um, the flaps might actually start to curl and not protect the elastic as much. I don't think so. Um, if you're careful with your boots, and particularly if you have trousers over them or your jeans over them, they're not really gonna flap around too much. Um, we'll see how that goes. So as I said, this is local uh, tan pull-up leather. Uh, uh, tanned in Indonesia, um, chrome tanned in Indonesia. Uh, and it's a full grain leather and you can see all the sort of grain in it, the hair holes and so on. I, I put these on a couple of times. Uh, it's on a commander sole, Vibram commander sole, and you can see that other stitch going around. Very clean, very neat. So I'll go into detail about this in a minute, but I want to show you the other one. This is a variation that's also available. It's, this is a beautiful ginger color. Um, this reminds me of the Truman uh, Jean Jambre uh, that they brought out last year, uh, French for ginger, otherwise spelt gingembre, <laughs> but pronounced Jean Jambre. Um, this is from CF Stead. It's uh, imported into Indonesia leather. And uh, it's called Crazy Cow, and it's in a colorway called Ginger. It's really lovely leather. A um, little bit thicker than the, the local pull-up, uh, and therefore a little bit firmer when you get your feet in it. Honey Lug Sole, Vibram, uh, again for that grip, uh, and uh, running around on my roof or, or digging around in my garden. Uh, real toe cap, uh, leather, um, uh, uh, heel counter and this time Sonny went back and forth with me about how to protect the uh, um, uh, goring panels and he wasn't too happy with that one although I am so he came up with this fantastic design this is what I like about Sonny is he plays around with the designs and while I'm itching to get my hands on the boots he says no no hold on hold on we just got to get this right so what he did was he's cut a piece of leather on there sewn it in and then sliced sections of the leather apart and sewn them onto the uh, uh, goring underneath. And what this allows you to do is pull the panels apart. So that really protects the side goring panels. And I think um, this is a work of art. <laughs> I really like it. Um, obviously the rest is similar design and you can get these different options. You just talk to him about um, the kind of side panels you'd like the size of your pull loops, that sort of thing, and, and what leathers. So we are announcing this uh, being available from Fortis Boots from the uh, contact in the description below. And let me tell you about um, some of the uh, options that you can have. Let me just read my notes. So it's real cap toe. It's Goodyear hand welted choice of 270 or 360 uh, double row stitching, or as in uh, the case that I have, stitch down 270 um, double row stitching. The veg tan, in, uh, uh, sorry, the insole, welt and midsole are Brazilian veg tan leather, really heavy stuff. It's quite a, quite a heavy boot. Uh, you have a choice of a leather or a steel shank. Um, in this case, as you can see from the bow, I hope you can see from the bow, there's a leather shank in there because uh, I wanted a leather shank for airport travel and so on. Uh, you have a choice of outsole between Dr. Soul, Vibram, or Day Night, and obviously uh, any kinds of models between those. Um, so, uh, in terms of pricing, if you um, uh, get a uh, local leather, as in this tan pull-up, which to me, you know, I think this rivals Leon uh, leather production. 
I see no difference between this and say Thursday's chrome tanned leathers from Leon. Uh, it's, it's really well done. You can see all, the, all the, um, the grain in it if I put it close to camera. You know, and it, it, it's called a pull-up, but there's no, there's no amazing pull-up. So, so just bear that in mind. Um, so a local uh, pull-up leather is US $390, including free shipping. If you want imported leather, which includes Badalassi, Horween, uh, anything from C.F. Stead, uh, Seidel, Wicket and Craig, it's $490 US dollars, including shipping. If you want to go sort of further up market and get Italian horse butt, for example, that'll be $620 US dollars. And then if you want Shell Cordovan, it's $980. You can discuss with Sunny the, the different leathers and so on. $980 might sound a lot, but it is whole cut Shell Cordovan with veg tan innards, right? It's really super strong. A real toe cap, hand sewn, like everything on this boot. Sure, that might be stitched by, by machine, but this is hand sewn, hand welted, hand bottomed. That's quite amazing. And look, I, it is true that um, Indonesian boots have risen in price as has everything else in the world because of the post-COVID situation that we find ourselves in. And it is also true that Indonesian boots have become more popular and therefore they have increased in price. But I've always found Sani, to be honest, and his pricing strategy to be uh, really clear and clean cut. Um, let me just go through uh, some of these aspects of these boots. Uh, I find this is a size 42, which Sani sized me in. I find this last, uh, his new last that he created specially for this uh, model, uh, a little bit generous. So this is a size 42. I took a size 42 in his couple of his other boots in the Dakar last, and they were uh, uh, roomy but, but the right size. This I think is probably a half a size too large. And so I would talk to Sunny about your measurements and your right size. I think I could quite easily have got this in the 41.5 and possibly even a 41 because I have like a, like a skinny ankle really. So I, I don't really need that room across the top of that. Um, if you look at the stitching, very clean, very precise. Um, and that's the only piece of stitching you see on that real toe cap. As I said, the leather comes down the vamp and then there's a real second piece of leather. If you look at that stitching over here, along the scene, uh, very clean, very concise, very accurate. Uh, and of course, it's a single, um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, single um, uh, piece of leather, whole cut, uh, which is covered up by this back stay, just to support that back seam. The inside is, is uh, lined, uh, and I believe it's local uh, uh, lamb or lambskin leather, um, very soft, very comfortable. The thickness of the leather, you can see for yourself, it's uh, well over two millimeters uh, thick, including the lining is about three and a half millimeters thick. So I'm quite comfortable using this as a, as a medium, medium uh, uh, work boot. I don't think I would go on a construction site on this. Uh, I don't think I would climb up a pole necessarily on this, but working in the garden, uh, if you're a tiler, say, a, a finishing tradesman, this would do you well. Um, the local Indonesian tan, I do like this leather, you know. Um, the tan is lovely. Uh, it's chrome tan, so it's reasonably water resistant. And definitely the stitching is water resistant. And again, if you look at that hand stitch, how absolutely precise that is. So, um, my experience with Fortis, as I said, is very honest. Um, it potentially long weight cues, so be aware of that. But they have a really good uh, principle where you, they, they'll help you design it. You, you choose your options, um, and then they'll ask you for half up front, not the whole lot, half up front. And then when it's ready, he'll let you know. You pay the half. He puts it into the post for you. Postage is included. Don't forget with these prices. So let me go through them again. Um, <clears throat> local leather, three hundred ninety US, including shipping. Uh, imported leathers, Badalassi, Horween, C.F. Stead, Seidel, Wicket & Craig, 490 US, including shipping. Uh, Italian horse butt, 
uh, $620, including shipping. Shell Cordovan, $980, including shipping. And you have a choice of a leather or steel shank. You have a choice of outsoles between Dr. Soul, Vibram, and Daynight. Uh, and you have a choice between a Goodyear hand welted 270 or 360 or a stitch down 270. And I guess you can get a, a stitch down 360 as well. Um, living here in Indonesia, we're very close to our nearest neighbor. Uh, uh, living here in Indonesia, living here near Indonesia, we're very close to our near neighbor Indonesia in the west, not so much in the east, which is more towards the uh, Pacific coast, uh, Pacific islands. So we visit Indonesia a lot. Now, I haven't been to Bandung, I've been to Jakarta and to Bali, where a lot of Aussies go on holiday. But the next time I go, I'd like to go and visit Sunny and take a look at his workshop and maybe get properly measured from my boots and, 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 you know, and very much get a kind of bespoke kind of boot made. My experience of his boots in his Dhaka service boot and in the Collab Strider boot makes me very confident that this um, bootlosophy design, uh, uh, design but um, uh, uh, Fortis made foreign boot is going to be great. Um, the fit is good, a little bit big for me, but the fit is good all around uh, and it feels strong, it feels sturdy and I'm looking forward getting into thick socks and going up my roof in this. So if you are interested, go and take a look at the details of how to order down below and you can always go on Instagram and have a look at uh, Sunny's uh, Instagram account. So until the next time guys, don't forget, uh, click on like and if you're not subscribed, Click on subscribe to see what's coming up next. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.